Hey viewers, hey subscribers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot, Earth Babies, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is going to be you guys' mid-monthly energy check. So, oh, sorry about that, y'all. Incense got me. Just move it out of the way for a second. Okay. This is going to be you guys' mid-month energy check. So, please keep in mind that this will not resonate with every single earth sign. It will not. So please check your moon and rising sign and also go back and watch the other videos for the other placements in your chart because those may resonate more with you. Like if you have a Venus and Aries, the fire video may work, may resonate more with you. Okay, just using that as an example. So without further delay, we're going to hop right into this reading. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Show you girls some love if it resonates. Okay, Earth signs. Let's hop right into it. We're going to start with spirit messages and then we're going to get right into the tarot. Selenite, which I feel like most of you got, most of you guys already know about it, but selenite is a really great crystal to add to your crystal collection if you guys collect them. Um, where did I get this from? I got this from a metaphysical shop, but I also have some from Heart Chakra Crystals. Check her out, her Instagram page, as well as her Etsy shop. She has really great merchandise. I love it. I actually just got crystals from her and I also got these bracelets here. This is my um, Evil Eye Protection Bracelet and this one is a Snake Jasper. So um, go there, check her out. She has a great variety of crystals to add to your collection to help charge your decks and also clear energy. All right, so let's hop right in. For those of you guys wanting to know what decks I'm using, I will list them down in the description box below, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Source, what message do you have for my Earth babies, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? General advice and guidance, please, Spirit, for the Earth babies, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Please keep in mind the reading will not resonate with every single Earth sign. Light of Hope optimistic and positive outcome i love this for you guys earth signs i love it spirit is just reassuring you to stay positive because there's always a light at the end of the tunnel so whatever it is you guys have been going through if it's been rough and tough honey it gets better okay spirit wants you to know it gets better boo so don't stay stuck in a dark place don't allow challenges to get you down or setbacks to hold you back because honey you a boss not to mention that the full moon is in gemini and now is really a good time for reflection and you'll probably find yourself in your head a lot really re-evaluating friendships relationships um even your relationship with money and finances you know just really taking a fine tooth comb and looking at those things and venus is in capricorn so baby your relationships may be going through some ups and downs right now but if the person is really there if they're really in it to win it you, they will weather the storm with you all right, so Spirit says, stay positive. There is a light of hope, optimistic, and positive outcome. All right, what are the messages, Spirit? I'm gonna move this over here so I don't get in my eye. We have wisdom, learn from past experience. Earth signs, I feel like you guys are very much wise beyond your years. Most of you guys are like old souls and you offer very good advice and information to friends, close friends and family members all the time. But earth signs, make sure that as quickly as you are to give out that advice that you follow your own advice. Trust me, I'm guilty of it myself. So make sure that you follow the advice that you're given, that you learn from your own past mistakes and situations so that you don't find yourself back in a situation, right? <clears throat> but also, don't be afraid to share what you know as well, too. Um, sometimes we tend to keep information to ourselves, but if somebody asks you and you have the knowledge, feel free, Earth Signs, to share that information because you never know who may um, learn something or grow from you sharing your experience, okay? Ooh, we got abundance. So you guys are going to be entering a cycle of abundance within the next two weeks going into the new year. Yes. Yes. 
I also feel two earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo with that wisdom. I feel like you guys going into the new year are setting some goals for yourselves, which I highly recommend during this full moon in Gemini, um, as, as well as releasing. But I feel like you guys are trying to do things differently going into the new year. Like you've learned from this year, whatever happened this year, transpired, whatever mistakes, challenges, setbacks you've experienced, you've learned. And that's in the past, right? So 2021 is going to be in the past when we go into 2022. So we're moving in a new energy. And that's what Spirit is recommending that you do, suggesting that you do learn from what happened this year, the challenges, the setbacks, so that going into the new year, you can properly manifest what it is that you're seeking to manifest. All right, so let's get into the tarot. You just move my little crystals over here. All right, Holy Spirit. What messages do you have for my Earth babies? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Messages for my Earth babies. Okay. So, Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Um, some of you guys may be separating yourselves, Earth signs, from um, people and situations and things that... One, no longer serve you, but two, they don't really understand or appreciate your value. Okay. Some of you guys had a missed opportunity with someone in a relationship that you wanted it to go one way, but the person, like you guys went separate ways, two of wands. It wasn't meant to be two of wands. You guys are focused on moving forward. Or should be is what spirit is is um telling you to be focused on moving forward, not back. Move forward, not back. There's no sense in, in crying over spilt milk. There's a look. Not back. Spirit says not back. That six of cups is an X energy. Somebody may be um, still lingering in your energy that you had a connection with. But this person may have taken you for granted, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This person didn't appreciate you. They didn't. Or they could not. They weren't able to. Sometimes people... You know, they're not able to give you what it is that you need. And that's okay. It's okay for you to go separate ways. You know, if your needs are not being met, it's totally fine. Four of Cups. Don't don't take it personal. And you may still have memories of this person, especially with the holiday season coming up, because it always brings up memories, you know what I'm saying? But don't stay stuck there. Spirit says, focus on moving forward. Make plans to move forward and move towards something that's more in alignment with your what it is that you value in your life and where you're headed. Messages for my earth babies, please, spirit. Messages for my earth babies. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands energy. I love the Queen of Wands energy because just like the Queen of Swords, she's a badass. So Queen of Wands energy is you guys are very, um, very much stepping into your power earth signs. You know your worth. You know your value. Even if someone else doesn't. Spirit says you have the um, the wherewithal and the common sense to move on from a situation that is not serving you. What happened in the past stays in the past. Six of Cups. We're not going back to that. Um, if it didn't work out, it just simply didn't work out. But see how she's very confident and she's looking up and onwards. She's not focused on anything else behind her. She's sitting on her throne. She's sitting pretty. She's focused on her abundance. That sunflower is indicative of abundance. And the cat, <laughs> the cat is like... He's a black cat. Um, so even if the challenges, because, you know, sometimes black cats can be indicative of what they call bad luck. I don't feel that. But, you know, even if she's not concerned with it because she's confident. The Queen of Wands is confident. She knows her worth. She knows what she brings to the table and she moves forward regardless. Powerful. You see the two lions at, the, at her feet here? Powerful. So exercise your strength. Step into your boss energy, earth signs. Own it. You guys may be meeting your divine counterpart too because I did have the king of wands on the bottom of the deck. So for those of you guys who are single, you may be meeting your divine counterpart very soon. And for those of you guys who are, who are in a relationship, because I feel like this storyline could be a relationship situation where you are with someone that um, they were so determined to get you, but then they got you, earth signs, and then they didn't appreciate you. They felt like you were too much for them. Move on because you're queen of wands, baby. Big empress energy. Move on. You don't have to explain yourself and you, you damn sure don't have to lower your standards to fit their expectations or their needs. You don't have to do that. 
if they can't handle it, oh well. Let's see. Yeah, three of swords. You're no longer feeling tore up about it. No longer feeling tore up about it. If this is your story, if this resonates, please leave a comment down in the comment section for me below. But you guys are no longer concerned <laughs> with it. You may have been hurt for a minute, but you are coming out of it. Yes, nine of pentacles. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on loving yourself, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. Um, and just being in that, miss, this is my in this independent card, nine of pentacles. Because you see how she's just, she's surrounded by money. She's surrounded by, the green represents health for me as a reader. Good health. You guys are focused on um, taking care of your health earth signs. Maybe getting a checkup, maybe eating better, changing your diet for the better. Like I said, cutting out what no longer serves you, ten of swords. Cutting out what no longer serves you. Also, clearly stating your needs and also making your needs known. That's what you guys are in an energy of doing. Letting people know, like, listen, either you get with the program, program or step out. Get with the program or step out. That is the energy right now. Yeah, you don't have time for foolery. Y'all literally do not have time for foolery. I see y'all are signs. Y'all ain't playing. Y'all really are not... Y'all are not focused on foolery. You're focused on stability, financial stability, stability in your relationships, but overall stability. All right. Sorry about that. Our times are just cut off for no reason. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Yes. Spirit says yes. Whatever you've been praying for our signs, Spirit says it's a go. It's a yes. Your spirit, spirit team is saying, yes, it's a go. Also, Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition. Within three months for my entrepreneurs, I feel like this is for you guys. And even for those of you all who are starting a new relationship, give it, give it three, uh, like a 90 day probationary period. In three months, you get to find out what everything you need to see within a person's character, whether or not it's worth your time or wasting your time. Okay, Spirit says get balanced. Make sure your chakras are balanced. Make sure you are in alignment with your passions and your desires and your goals. And make sure the person that people that you allow in your energy are in alignment with it too. And Spirit says worth a try. Worth a try. Um, give them an opportunity, Earth Signs. If this is a situation, give them a chance. But Spirit says listen to your intuition, right? You guys are highly intuitive. And Spirit says, learn to let go. Do not stay stuck in the past because it's not going to benefit you at all. All right? It's not going to benefit you at all. All right? Especially my Virgos. Learn to let go. All right, Virgo? Because <laughs> I feel like Capricorn and Taurus, y'all can, y'all can, y'all do it pretty easily. But my Virgos, learn to let go. Release them. Love them a lot love them enough to leave them alone okay if you know what's good so that's been you guys' mid-monthly energy check thank you guys so much for watching earth babies if it resonates please leave a comment down in the comment section below and also if you'd like to book a personal reading with me go over to my website i will list the link down in the description box below okay book a general reading okay general covers pretty much everything Please add your questions in the comment box when you book, okay? This is my last week for booking before the holiday. I will not, my cutoff time for booking is going to be Wednesday. So make sure if you want to book, you book this week before Wednesday between the hours of 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Much love to you guys and until next time.